On my first few backpacking trips, I used to carry this, this lantern here, which isn't like huge. It's actually kind of small in terms of lanterns, but for backpacking, it's extremely overkill. I carried this thing for quite a, quite a few trips, like I said, and let me show you why it's overkill here. It's got four D batteries inside. Not the uh, not the lightest battery on the market for uh, you know carrying all your weight on your back. But it's a good lantern, and it, I still use it around the house and stuff. But I would never take this backpacking. It just weighs a ton. This has to weigh like three pounds. So the product I'm going to be looking at today uh, doubles as actually a lantern and a headlamp. So pretty excited to check this one out. For years, I've carried these uh, little Petzl Takina headlamps. I actually own like four of these. Uh, one for everybody in the house, but they're great bang for the buck. They're pretty cheap and they, they work really, really well. They take three uh, AAA batteries and I've always had good luck with these, but they may be getting replaced today. So the video today is actually an unboxing. It's going to be a first look, first impressions of this new headlamp, which is kind of a revolutionary design. This is uh, brand new from Petzl. It just hit the market last week, I believe. Really excited to to uh, see this. I was gonna just like use it on the trail and make like a review video on it. Honestly, I kind of want to show you guys my first initial uh, reaction to it because I have no idea if I'm really gonna like this thing or not. It's kind of a crazy design. From what I've seen and all its uses and stuff, um, I think it's I think it's really gonna be cool. So I'm gonna do an unboxing of this and you're gonna want to stick around to the end of the video because I have another one here I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for. Um, so stick around at the end of the video. I will tell you guys how to or maybe I'll put it in the middle of the video So you guys can't just skip to the end and cheat and not watch it. All right, let's get into the unboxing here All right, Ooh, nice embossed box there really nice packaging on this I think the taquinas just come in a little plastic thing. You got to cut so there is the piece it's called the Ico Core. Actually, I, I didn't mention that. So this is the Ico Core. It uses like a lithium battery, I believe, that's rechargeable, or it can use uh, AAA batteries, which is like so convenient for me because I'm the kind of person that if I'm going on a long backpacking trip, I am always scared that my batteries in my headlamp might not be full charged, or I might, you know, kill them while I'm out there. And I don't like carrying extra, extra weight. You know, you only need one set of batteries for the most part for a couple day trip and I never want to carry the extra weight of new ones so usually I'll take out whatever batteries are in my headlamp before pretty much every trip put new ones in and keep all my uh, used batteries in a drawer at home and anytime I'm using my headlamp for something other than backpacking which that's pretty much all I use. I don't really use flashlights. I always use those headlamps around the house. I always just use the old batteries for that so they can die and it not be a huge issue. But this is really cool. I've really been in the market for a, a rechargeable headlamp for a long time. Oh man. All right. That is pretty crazy. So, so there's the uh, seven LEDs in the front really really uh thin I, that's that's way smaller than i thought it was going to be so this goes it's going to go on my head like that now the thing about this is the battery is kept in the back so you don't have that whole big weight of all the batteries and stuff like kind of weighing down the front in theory it's it spreads the weight around your head disperses the weight so that it just feels lighter all around like nothing's really even on you obviously it's got some like strap thing here i can tighten this to uh, tighten all the way around. And honestly, by looking at this, I thought it was gonna be like kind of brittle plastic uh, just by looking at the pictures. And I wasn't sure I was gonna like that, but this is really pliable. It's almost like a rubber. That's really cool. Another thing that I really was excited about this too is the weight of this is actually lower than a Takina. And that might have to do with um, the, the lithium battery rather than the double A's that I normally carry. But a headlamp that's lighter and more versatile than the uh, headlamps I've been using. That really appeals to me. Um, I'll get into its multi-functions, but let's try this thing on. Okay, it's too big now, but if I... Okay, you press the button on the top. So the thing is with this, this is just initial review. I really don't know much about this thing, but I'm gonna use it in my next video, which is gonna be my stupid Ultralight 2.0. If you are interested in what that is. It's the last video I uploaded. I'll link it right up here. But I'm gonna use this because it's lighter than the headlamp I own. Oh, I like that. That is cool. 
It's like so tiny and it angles too, just like the other ones. But that's neat. The, uh, so the button in the back, I can just press the button right on top and pull this strap to tighten it up if it would loosen up or anything. But that's nice, and you press the button and it immediately springs back out to take it off. So anybody could throw it on, push that button, pull it tight, and it's on. That's way easier than grabbing like the, uh, the straps on a normal elastic headband. I like this. You can pull that thing really tight too. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this. I'm gonna use this for uh, trail running too at night. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this this fits a lot better uh, than I thought it would. I thought it looked look kind of bulky and kind of goofy uh, just by the pictures, but it feels like nothing is on your head. That's awesome. I'm stoked. You guys are gonna want this. Okay, so here is the the core, the, the battery they supply you with, obviously the same size as three AAAs. It's actually got the little, it's got the little mini USB right there to charge. And it's nice, definitely weighs less than three AAAs. Let's see if I can't throw it in there. Should read the directions, but I'm not that kind of guy. All right, there we go, opens up. It's kind of weird, the, uh, the lights on the bottom, the switch. Oh, it's got battery power. Oh wow, okay, so it's got three modes of brightness. One, two, three. And I can see the little red light. It must be indicating that it's a dead battery. Probably didn't come charged, I didn't expect it to. Also came with the uh, little charger for the battery. And this is the little carry bag that it came with, which this is actually cool because from what I've seen with this headlamp is the multi-use of it is that you can wear it around your neck, like so and you know it doesn't flop around like uh, i'm someone that i always find myself with my headlamp around my neck i, I really don't know why I, I sleep like that most of the time too i don't know if i could sleep with this one but i always have the headlamp around my neck and uh this one stays in place like you could actually use it um as a neck light which is pretty cool and what's really cool about the little carry the carry bag the little stuff sack here that it came with is this doubles as a lantern. So what you do, when you sit this down on the ground, you point the light up and you cinch the bag around the light and then it becomes a lantern. So that's really cool. That's something that I never bring backpacking is a lantern because it's just extra weight and I'm not gonna bring more than one light source. I always hang my headlamp from like the top of my tent if I can to kinda, you know, have some indoor lighting but this is this is really cool that is definitely gonna get used you know I'm kind of weird about bringing extra weight but that thing weighs nothing so full review video coming out on this um, what should I do for a giveaway I should have them say something in the comments like what should I say though some question make it fun I want to hear some stories Okay, so I'm gonna go on my next backpacking trip, the Stupid Ultralight 2.0, test it out. The next video after that will be the full review on this in which I will pick a winner. And if you want to get into that, you're gonna have to, first off, subscribe to the channel, um, and then you're gonna have to leave a comment. And I wanna hear your craziest story of sleeping in the woods or sleeping on a backpacking trip. So like anytime you've ever heard like a super weird noise or something was, um, you know, creepy, like the creepiest, scariest thing you've ever encountered uh, at night on the trail. It doesn't have to be a real long story. If you just want to write like one or two sentences, that's fine. But uh, yeah, I'd really like to hear it. If you don't have any stories, just uh, write I'm in uh, in the comments below and I'll put you in for the running of that. We'll pick a winner and we'll get a get one of these shipped out to you guys. So that's it for the video. First look, first impression of this headlamp. Next two videos, I'm gonna use it in the next one and then we'll give it away in, uh, in the full review video coming up here in a couple weeks. So that'll do it. Leave your comments below and I'll see you on the next one.